Hi, welcome to week three of the Season of Heart, where we'll be working with image transfers, monochromatic, and unique attachments. I started working on this project after watching Alyssa's fantastic uh, lesson over at Get Messy. And so I thought, I want to stitch my word. Um, so I did, as you can see here, but it's also difficult to read because I did a tone on tone. So, and yeah, the stitches are really wonky. So I thought, well, I'll do it again in either black or uh, white thread. <clears throat> but the more I sat on this, the more the color just didn't work for me. And that's when I decided to work with yellow orange. So now it's time to pull papers, painted papers from my stash. And here they are. I wanted to call out the fact that when you, you're working with particular colors, don't be afraid to pull papers that um, have other colors in them because obviously you're going to tear them up and sometimes just the littlest piece is all you need to finish uh, a complete collage. So just go for it, pull what you got, and then decide afterwards. Okay, and here's how my base pages turned out. It's kind of in a block mode, if you will. And you can also see on the left page, there are some splatters of red, but I didn't mind that because the whole idea was to cover it up. I just like the composition. And um, so that's that. But then I realized we had transfers as, um, something we needed to add to these pages and fortunately a few weeks ago i remembered that i had bought a couple sets of transfers and um i don't know i'm kind of laughing because it seems like the easy way out but anyway um there were two sets that i got and i just i love them both but look at the tapes these are really cool because what you do is just cut what you need and just rub it on to to your papers so i chose from the orange and the yellow of course and i'll show you now where they ended up on these pages you can probably see them now but here's one there's another a little bit there and then i put two side by side at the bottom so remember, whenever you are, you're working on a challenge and there are elements or prompts, it doesn't have to be a big thing. As long as it's on your page and you're playing along, that's all you need to do. Once I had my elements down, I used my Lyra Graphite and Stabilo All Pencil to add some grunge and marks. For the focal point on the right, I used a Dina Wakely collage image, glued it to my painted paper, and machine stitched around the circle. Then I pasted the words, Most Kind Hearted. On the left, I cut out a heart from another painted paper, adding the words, Listen Deep Down, and suddenly remembering. Of course, you know I've got stories behind these pages that I want to share. First is around my color choice. Before I started this layout, Claudette and I were pleasantly surprised and laughed over the fact that we've both been loving yellows lately. Yellows in all its wonderful shades. And didn't even know it. I've always considered yellow to be more of an accent color. Needless to say, it blew our minds to be in sync once again. But in four years, we should be used to it. Then she said that yellow was the color she used for this week. I told Claudette that I wouldn't use yellow. In hindsight, I don't know why, because we don't say things like, you do this and I'll do that. And incidentally, we've done two color-themed collaborations, so that's not the issue. You see, we never discuss our page plans ahead of time, and we kind of like it that way. 
Oh, and before I forget, my unique attachment isn't really unique. It's just a piece of orange uh, sari ribbon and dyed vintage seam binding that I tacked together there at the bottom of the image. So, so I wanted to make sure I, I pointed that out. <laughs> But now back to the other story about the words kind-hearted. For a couple of days, I wondered why it resonated with me so much. So imagine my surprise when I suddenly realized why. I was voted most kind-hearted girl by my high school senior class. Billy Glenn, who happened to live in my neighborhood, was voted most kind-hearted guy. But, oh my gosh, what a blast from the past. I had totally forgotten. Of course, I went down that rabbit hole remembering who was most popular, best dressed, best athlete, best couple. And the ones like shortest, tallest, biggest flirt, goofiest. I mean, I know it was all in fun, no more, no less. Just good times. And the page on the left perfectly captured the aha moment when I finally remembered, and it was quite sudden at that. Well, that is it for this week. I hope you enjoyed hearing how these pages came together, and as always, I can't wait to see what you all create as we say goodbye to this season of heart. Till next time, take care and stay creative. Bye for now.